Hi, I'm Hilary and welcome to day five of our free seven day course. We're getting through it now. Just to do a little recap as we're now more than halfway through the seven rules course. Rule one of Adept English is understanding first and we do that through lots and lots of listening. So you'll improve your understanding this way. And just to be clear, you do need to understand most of what you listen to. Not all of it, but quite a lot first time through. Rule two says practice. Repeat your listening to the same thing a number of times. So when you've listened a number of times to the same recording, you will probably pick up more of the meaning with each listen. Rule three says use the time when your brain's not fully occupied to do your English practice. Stick at it, work it into your schedule so that you do it every day, every week. Rule four says little by little is normal in language learning. Even with that adept English, it's gonna take some time, but make sure that your self-criticism doesn't discourage you. So be nice to yourself. So today, rule five. Rule five of Adept English, two things really. The first one is nothing but English. On the whole, you won't hear me speak any other language than English. This is purposeful. It gets around one of the worst things about traditional language learning. Traditional language courses often give you lists of vocabulary. They like you to do translation from the language into your language and back again. It encourages translation. The problem is, this is the worst thing that you can do if you want to become fluent. Translating will get in the way of you becoming fluent. It's okay at the beginning when you're learning the basics of a language. You need to have a base to start with. But once you want to work at your fluency, your conversation, it's better to learn to think in the new language. This means temporarily switching off your own language. Now, Adept English uses two powerful techniques here. Firstly, I'll always introduce you to new words in context. In context means surrounded by other words, so that you have opportunity to work out the meaning, even if you didn't know the word. On the courses and in the podcasts, I'm quite careful to introduce words with an explanation. Then I make sure that you hear them in several different contexts. So I'll repeat the word. This helps you remember the meaning of the word. It also recreates the experience that the child has when they're learning their own language naturally through association. I try to paint a picture in your head so that you'll remember. Secondly, if I use a word or phrase which I think you may not know, I give you an explanation of the words in simple English. So hopefully you arrive at the meaning without translating. In our course one, Activate Your Listening, I do whole recordings called vocabulary recordings. And in these, I run through all the more difficult words and phrases with an explanation in English. It's like having your own personal tutorial a special lesson just you and me. Nothing but English is important because you become comfortable not understanding some of the words. But if you wait, the meaning often becomes clear. This is good practice for real life conversation. Your ears also become more skilled at listening. You get used to listening and your ears pick up more of the words. They tune in to English, if you like. 
If you've listened to the longer version of the seven rules, you'll have heard me talk about my German lessons in school and why they were so good, so effective. The whole lesson from our very first day was in German. No English words were spoken at all. We didn't always understand immediately what was being said, but it was a much better lesson. In order to learn English properly, it's important to stay in the part of your brain which is starting to know English. No zipping back and forth between the English part of your brain and the part of your brain which is much bigger that knows your own language. We're trying to get the English part of your brain to grow bigger. And each time you use it, it will grow bigger. The other side of nothing but English is really the power of learning words in context. Do you remember me saying that to learn a new word, your brain, do you remember that word? It's in here. There's a good example of it. Your brain has to hear the new word 30 times before you remember. Now, you could just try finding that word in a recording and play it back to yourself 30 times. But I don't think that would work. That's a bit like learning a vocabulary list. You need to hear it in context. That's the way that your brain remembers. So you probably hear the new word first time and you forget it. Then you hear it a second time and your brain says, hmm, I've heard that word before. What did it mean? Hmm, I've forgotten. If you listen to the same recording a number of times and you hear that same word in the same context, then a bit later that same word appears again in another context, your brain starts to notice it. Each time you hear the new word, you're increasing the number of times you've heard it. And when it gets to around 30 times, you'll know the word, you'll remember it automatically. And even better, you'll be able to use it when you want to speak. So if you do your 30 minutes a day listening to spoken English, that's a lot of words. Just imagine your brain keeping account of the number of times you've heard each word. Can you see how it works? And you're not even aware of it, especially if you're focused on the subject or the meaning of the recording. I do a lot of podcasts which really are just a discussion or a story or an opinion. I also do it on the courses so I talk about food or education. Meanwhile your brain, your automatic brain, is focused on learning and recognising new words. So let's mention that word brain again. I wonder if you're perhaps beginning to remember it now. Okay, that's probably enough for today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Rule 6. Have a lovely day.